Hi guys, Goofy Noofy here. Welcome to the Goofy Noofy Show. And uh, this little section here is put together by me and uh, my buddy George. Uh, it's called Newfinies 101. Um, by the time we're done here, you guys are going to have a good understanding of the ability to talk to a Newfoundlander and understand exactly what he's, well not exactly, but be able to understand what he's saying and have be able to carry on a conversation and know what you're talking about. Uh, there's going to be a couple of videos here and uh, each video is going to have 10 words or phrases and uh, George is going to tell you what they are in Newfoundlander and I'm going to explain it to you in English. Okay, so before I get started, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And hit the thumbs up button at the end of the video. I'd like you guys to watch the entire video if you can. If not, you're going to miss out on quite a few phrases and you're just not going to be able to fully comprehend what you're talking about when you're having a conversation with a newbie. Okay, let's get to it. And starting with number 10. My Jesus, boy, you must have spent some awful money on them cheesy ass graphics, I tell you what. That's so funny. Okay, well, let's get started here, eh? Number 10 was, as you seen there, Are she caught me, cocky? How are you, my friend? Number 9. Best kind, boy. Is she getting on, eh? I'm feeling great. How are you faring? Number eight. I'm just about got found today. I'm very hungry. Seven. I'll put the old slot on. You get the arse down here and we get a little yarn. I'll put the kettle on, have a seat, and we can have a chat. Six. Yes, by far up a scarf, eh? Make some food. Five. What are you at, boys? You heard at it all the time, or what? What are you doing? Are you working hard? Four. Yes, boy, I dare say, but now in here. Yes, I expect I am, but there's no fish here today. Three. Oh, he comes from away. He's not from Newfoundland. Two. Stay where you're to till I come where you're at, bye. Stay there till I get there. And number one. Yes, bye. That's the final word. See you later, guys. Well, guys, this one is uh, what you can call uh, a Newfie staple. It's a word that gets used every day in everyday things, and it means a million different things. Like, uh, it can mean, um, okay, no way, I don't believe you, really, it's true, is that so? You're just going to have to take this one in context as to whatever it's put into when a newfie's saying it. it. It's just one of those words. There, there ain't too many of them in the English language. Um, one of them it happens to be a curse word. I'm not going to say it because there's probably a lot of children watching my show. Most of you adults probably already know what it is. It's the most versatile curse word in the English language. It can be used for anything. Well, so can yes by. It's just a new feet thing. Okay? Thank you very much for tuning in. And hope you like the show. There's going to be a few more after this. We'll get quite a few phrases, words, different things in here. And uh, yeah, leave some comments. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now, guys.